We've just undertaken a massive journey from Nanga Brook to Nanga Mill Campground. No, I'm just kidding. They're actually right next door. But anyway, this is Nanga Mill. Let's go check this place out. To get to Nanga Mill from Perth, CBD, it's about one hour and 46 minutes, around about 125 kilometers. And when you arrive into the reserve, go down Nanga Road to get to Nanga Mill Campground. If you're looking for supplies and petrol, Waruna and Dwelling Up are your closest places. At Nunga Mill, dogs are allowed but must be on a leash. You have to pay to stay and there are park entry fees. This particular site is no booking required and the ranger will come along and take your payment later. It is all non-powered. There's river water only, non-drinkable. There are drop toilets but they're non-accessible. There are fire pits and picnic tables. There's a rubbish bin. There's intermittent phone reception 3G and 4G. It is suitable for tents, RVs, motorhome, caravans, and camper trailers. In this area, there's bushwalking, swimming, kayaking, canoeing, fishing, and mountain biking with an easy sill road entry. Now, right now, you're looking at the first area. There's no marked sites, but this we'll call this the first site. There's a picnic table and a fire pit, but it is quite on an angle. Moving down, there are other sites around here with fire pits. There's a little nook site up here as you enter in. There's a fire pit up there too. These sites are directly as you drive in. On this side that you're looking is further away from the river and some of them are on some angles. The sites closer to the river along this stretch are on a bit of an angle as well, but you've got this great walking path down to the river, which is right along here. It stretches all the way across. Great river there. You can certainly enjoy frolicking in the in the water. I did. I just can't wait to go back there and enjoy that river again. The rest of the stretch is still on a bit of an angle. There is a toilet at the back and you can camp on both sides. This side is on a lot more of an angle than the side closest to the river. But moving along, this is the closest to the river side. Again, there's a picnic table, a fire pit. Great spot along here and it's quite flat. Now, while I was filming, something actually happened. And if you wait to the end of the episode, you'll get to see what did happen. All right, I'll tell you. After you check out the bathroom, how great is that? It is a drop toilet. It's well stocked. So if you noticed before, there wasn't a tree that had fallen. A tree actually fell 30 seconds after I finished filming under it. Moving on to the other side, this whole area is available for you to set up. It is tiered, so it does go downhill. quite a fair bit of it is on an angle, but you can make it work as these people have. So picnic tables scattered around, fire pits, plenty. Feel free to set up wherever you like. We're starting to move away from the river. This middle section is quite shady, reasonably flat, but towards the end here, you're nearer to the main road and those areas are a lot more of an angle than where we've just come from. but there is a toilet right in the middle for everyone to share. Look at those trees, they're massive and so green. So let's have a look at this toilet, same as the others. That is the main road at the back. There's another entry and exit that you can come through, so you don't have to go through the front way, you can come around this way. This area is really in amongst the trees, much flatter than the other areas. So I would say this will probably be the busiest parts. And around here again, on an angle, there's fire pits. There's an abundance of fire pits and picnic tables in this place, which is great to see. But again, you can just set up wherever you like, even in front of the bins. And there's bins for everyone to use. So this central area, I would say, is probably the most popular. Nanga Mill is actually made up of a couple of sections. This is the main area, and there's another one further down. But you do have to leave this campground by this exit 
to get to this section. And there's one more that is tent only as well. This section here, you can set up wherever you like. There is a toilet. It's on a tiered platform coming down the hill. They have some fire pits as well. You do have to park in the car park and carry your gear. It's not a drive-in site and camp next to your car site. There's a car park up the top there with the staircase going down. But you can set up anywhere along here. Certainly this section is a lot more in amongst the trees with quite a bit of shade as well. You do have to carry your gear over, but it's not that far. I really love the fact that they've provided so many fire pits and picnic tables. So if you're a lightweight camper and you, you don't have a lot of stuff, you don't want to carry your own fire pit, We'll have a picnic table. They're there for you to use. Absolutely. Now we're coming down to the lower section. Bit of an angle. There are areas here that are flat that you can set up quite comfortably. Now this is the last camp set up. We met these great people from France visiting Australia. Had a great chat with them and they told us how much they love camping in this spot. Let's skip over the toilet and have a quick look before we head back to the main section again and finish off the Nanga Mill campground. Back there you can see the car park, so that's where you'd park and carry your gear over if you plan on camping right here. So back to that main entrance that we just left, circling around to the river side camping area. Take note of the sign. They are planning on cutting down pine trees because some of them fall down. This next section is tent only as well. There's a car park at the back there. And before we venture down to that area, let's have a look at the two toilets. So in this block, there are actually two toilets. And there you go. Here is an aerial view of the tent only sites. Now these, if you want to get really close to the river, this is where you want to camp. You can't drive a vehicle in, but you can carry your gear down. So let's go and check it out. More fire pits, more picnic tables, but the river is just behind those trees. and it's very, very easy to set up. As you get to the bottom, the ground flattens out. Slight angle, but pretty, pretty, pretty reasonable to set up anywhere along here. This would be the most flattest section out of the whole campground. Look at those trees and the surroundings. Just in amongst it, enjoying the relaxation and the serenity of camping without any care in the world. I mean, that's why we camp, right? We love the outdoors. also another walking trail close by right here a bridge that goes over the river so you can get to the other side and there it is the river's there right, 
moving to the other half of this area. Again, more people setting up, getting ready for that weekend or that longer camping trip. He gave some great tips on what to visit and what to do in this area. And certainly, if you do explore this area, there are so many water holes and swimming holes that are just wonderful to hang out all day. At the back there, there is another tent only camping area where you can park and carry your gear over. But that is past the other section that we showed you just a bit earlier. You can get to that spot via this main camping area. And we're gonna show you right now this little walking bridge that gets there. If you've got a bit of gear, you wanna drive around to that car park, set up and carry your gear over. Because again, this is all tent only sites. So here's this little bridge, a little bit overgrown, but don't let that stop you. It certainly is a pleasant walk along this little bridge. And this section is the last section of the Nanga Mill campground. It has a toilet right at the top. It's a shame you don't have a view, but you're right at the top. Moving along closer to the river, there's a couple more sites scattered in amongst the trees. Again, you can set up anywhere. And you can see just through there, there's that car park I was talking about. You'd park there and you carry your gear. Let's make our way back to the main campground. Once again, showing you the last part of the main campground, which is that central area. Moving across to the right, we're now seeing the other side, closer to the riverside of the more popular part under those shady trees. The ground is much flatter along here. More fire pits, more shady spots in amongst the trees. And there we are. We were right in the thick of it, in the sun, but that didn't stop us. But when we arrived, this place was busy. And finally, the last little site area. We're right back where we started, enjoying that wonderful view of the trees. Well now you've seen everything that Nunga Mill Campground has to offer. So come and check this place out. And remember, camp by me and you'll be a happy camper. Thanks for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it that much, please subscribe and click that notify button on YouTube. It is free and also follow us on all our social media platforms and go check out the Camp By Me website with that interactive map. Just there, Anna. Literally, just there. Wait a minute. We've arrived at Nunga Brook Campground. We've also arrived at Nunga Mill Campground. <laughs> They're literally right next to each other. Hmm? Oh yeah, we've got the tree. I can't believe, you recording? I can't believe how big that tree was as I was filming in it. Like, turn, 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 crack, crack, crack. I thought someone was using the whip. Crack, crack, crack. And then I turned around and I didn't get it on film, but I got the aftermath. Well, I, you know, you're in shock. There's this big tree branch. And then as I turned around, it was literally one meter from the person swag. Luckily there was no one in it. Oh, jeez. I didn't get it falling, but I heard it. I was literally just there a second ago. Wow. I thought it was an animal or something. Wow. Oh, really? That literally just fell from there. 
No, they're not there, thankfully. Wow, that just snapped from there. That was so close. I literally... Wanna try and move it? You won't be able to move that without a winch or something. Jeez. Crazy. That's why you don't camp next to gums or what are these? These aren't gums. These... Yeah. yeah. Watch out for bears. Oh, bees. Oh. oh. 